<sighs> All right, trickies and trickers, time for the penultimate episode of you the day with a fistful of datas. The Enterprise has arrived some days early for a rendezvous with the supply ship USS Biko, and lets the crew spend time to pursue personal activities. Data and the Forge propose to Captain Picard to attempt to set up systems that would allow them to use Data's processing abilities to run critical systems in the case of main computer failure, and he allows them to proceed. Meanwhile, Worf reluctantly joins his son Alexander in a holodeck adventure set in the town of Deadwood, South Dakota in the American Old West, later joined by Deanna Troy. The three play the role of lawmen in Deadwood, where Eli Hollander, the butcher of Bozeman, is wanted. Worf tries to use his Starfleet tactics to end the episode quickly, but Alexander insists that he play along with the scenario. They capture Eli, learning that his father Frank is a sly and powerful man. As stated on the forge work on the interface, a brief energy surge occurs. The ship's systems react strangely, specifically around elements of Data's logs and records. Data also takes up a stereotypical wow <coughs> Data also takes up stereotypical wowless mannerisms and vernacular, unaware. In the, <coughs> in the holodeck, Frank, who appears exactly like Data, captures Alexander, demanding the release of his son Eli. Worf gets into a gun battle and is wounded, and he and Troy find that the holodeck's safety protocols are off and they cannot end the program. They realize Alexander could be in trouble, and the only sure way is to play out the story. Further, Troy observes that Eli now possesses skills comparable to Data's. As more of the holodeck characters take on Data's appearance, Worf works to create a personal shield as protection, knowing he would not be victorious against characters that all have Data's skills. Data and the Force determine that the power surge causes segments of the main computer and Data's processes, processes to swap memories, and they start a memory purse to restore both to normal operation. On the holodeck, Worf and Troy successfully defeat Frank and his gang and recover Alexander. They believe the story is now over, but the holodeck does not yet respond. Only after Miss Anine, one of the dancers from local tavern and also now looking like Data, thanks Worf for his bravery and throws herself into Worf's arms, does the story end, allowing the three to leave safely. Data and the ship's computer are restored to normal, and Worf promises to join Alexander on the holodeck for another adventure in Deadwood. As a final nod to the western genre, where heroes are often seen and riding off to the sunset, the episode concludes with the Enterprise flying toward and zooming into a star that is half obscured by a nearby planet. Huh. Well, tarnation, that was sure enjoyable. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a pretty interesting episode, and the whole Wild West thing was actually kind of fun. It reminded me a little bit of Back to the Future Part 3, but only with the Wild West stuff. So, yeah. So, overall, I give a fistful of datas. Four warp cores out of five. Well, join me a bit for the final episode of Read the Day with the quality of life. So, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.